New video of the eruption, high up on Mauna Loa volcano, is being shared tonight across social media. The current direction of the lava flows which shifted this morning from the summit to the northeast rift zone, indicates that there is no imminent threat to any community at this time. A preliminary map posted by the U.S. Geological Survey gives an idea where the active fissures are located, showing that they are still very close to the summit area. The communities in South Kona, near and around the southwestern rift zone, appear to be in the clear, as long as the eruption follows the patterns that have been observed historically. Yeah, I'm Ken Han from the Here is Ken Han, the scientist in charge of the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, speaking at a virtual media briefing on Monday. This eruption started late last night and on into early this morning. Uh, it began at the summit of Mauna Loa, as most people know now, in Makua Veo Veo Caldera. It covered almost the entire floor of Makua Veo Veo with lava. Fissure ran from the north to the south end of there. Um, the fissure did, as we can see this morning, did actually leave um, the actual big caldera, but stayed in what we consider the summit area and produced some lava flows that were visible from Kona last night that appeared to be heading to the south and west, which they were. They only made it a couple kilometers from the caldera. Early this morning, around 5 a.m., we started to pick up lava flows moving to the northeast, and the locus of uh, seismic activity also moved in that direction. And we confirmed at 6.30 this morning with overflights that lava flows were moving um, from fissures that had opened up on the nor northeast rift zone. So what this means is that the volcanic activity progressed from a summit eruption to a rift zone eruption, and Mauna Loa chose the northeast rift zone to be the locus of eruptive activity. This means that as far as we know in any historic precedence that there has never been a uh, eruption of Mauna Loa that activated both rift zones at the same time or during the same eruption. So we presume at this point that all of the future activity is gonna be on the Northeast rift zone of Mauna Loa and not on the Southwest rift zone. So those residents in that area um, do not have to worry about lava flows. Um, and currently right now, because the Northeast Rift Zone empties into the saddle area, there's uh, no real habitation up there. Uh, Pohakaloa training area, their facilities are outside of where we consider any initial lava flows to go. And the only real facility up there are is the Mauna Loa Weather Observatory which um, is not directly threatened, but it's there's a chance its road could perhaps be cut by these lava flows. Um, in the long term, uh, you know, eventually this kind of lava flow is very similar to what happened in 1984 and potentially could threaten populated areas around Hilo. Uh, but we're looking at somewhere around a week before we expect lava to get anywhere near um, in that direction. We're hoping that uh, it will parallel the 1984 eruption and becoming more viscous as time goes on and, uh, right. you know, hitting flatter slopes around the saddle that slow it down. And this actually prevented the lava from getting into Hilo. And historically, this has been the case. Only a couple of eruptions have made it into the outskirts of, of what is current Hilo. So we're hoping that this Lava flow, while it will be a big, spectacular event, um, it occupies a fairly small proportion of the island, and hopefully it will have relatively minor effect on the residents and visitors to the island. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is now the home of two simultaneous eruptions. The park remains open with a few road closures. The Hawaii Department of Health is also advising the public to be prepared for air quality impacts due to the eruption. They say the activity could cause an increase in VOG conditions, ash in the air, and levels of sulfur dioxide, which could fluctuate in various areas of the state. Still, the National Weather Service has canceled the ashfall advisory that was previously posted for Hawaii Island. 